Hi, I'm Todd Berzer, and welcome to our three-minute product manager discussion on structuring a product team. So as we move into product management leadership positions, as we become a VP of product management, a director, a head of product, uh, we take on the role of organizational architects. So we are structuring our own product management team, but we are also structuring extended product teams. And by extended product teams, I mean the, the set of people that are making our products. So our product managers, uh, engineers, UX designers. So in this video, what I wanna do is take a look at six rules of the road for structuring product teams. All right, we're gonna talk about designing for six things. So we're gonna talk about designing for direct customer insight, diversity, ownership, parallel roles, scalability, and durability. Let's take a look at each one of these. So on the first one, so design for direct customer insight. So every product manager should have access to their customers. They should be able to run a discovery process for their product. So for this video, I am leveraging, building off the work of Rich Miranoff, and I'm gonna quote him here. He said, handoffs are the enemy of insight. So let's take a look at some product team structures. So here we've got a product manager working with a UX designer and an engineering lead and a dev team or a scrum team. Uh, and the product manager is able to here directly do interviews with customers and do concept testing with customers. This is pretty good. All right, then some other teams, some, some companies have set up similar to this. So you've got a market-facing product manager that's working together out with customers. They're going to share requirements. They're gonna hand off requirements to the technical product manager or product owner. And that product owner is in turn going to work with an engineering team uh, and a UX designer. I kind of think the top structure works pretty well. The bottom structure can be efficient. It does work for some teams, uh, but uh, because of this handoff, uh, you can be efficient at building the wrong thing. Okay, let's go to the second rule of the road, and that is designed for diversity. So highly effective teams in technology companies often include diverse perspectives. So you've got a product manager, engineers, UX designers, industrial designers. This is a good thing. Uh, if we take a look at the team structure that we've been you know, thinking about, it, it works pretty well. It's got that diversity of perspective built into the team structure. With other companies, you sometimes see a structure like what's at the bottom, and that's where the UX design team is separated out into a different group. The product managers then just share requirements with that team, and the UX designers deliver on those requirements, kind of a job shop approach. Uh, I think in this case, you're really missing out on the diverse perspectives that UX designers can bring to these, to these product teams. All right, then we go to the third rule of the road, and that is design for ownership. So we want small, empowered, motivated teams. We want clear ownership of products, features, segments. Okay, so the team structure that we've been looking at works pretty well. You can draw a circle around that and say, you own this product. On the other hand, we can get more complex structures that might look something like this. You've got a market-facing product manager reporting to a business manager, sharing requirements with a technical product manager or product owner who's reporting into a different group, an IT group or, or, or an engineering group. And in this case, the, the team on the left, um, I think is going to struggle with ownership. They're, going to, they're, they're just gonna be receiving requirements and delivering on those. They're gonna struggle with ownership. I don't think that works very well. All right, then the fourth rule of the road is designed for parallel roles. Okay, we want the rest of the organization to know how to work with us. We want parallel roles. So every product manager should have the same basic job, just different products or features. So that way the rest of the organization can work with different product managers in a very standard way. So if your organizational structure looks something like this, where you got product area one with a product manager, product area two, you got a market facing product manager and a product owner. If your structure looks like this, the rest of the organization is going to have to adapt every time they work with one of these product managers, not a good thing. Then we go to the fifth rule of the road, and this is designed for scalability. So when we grow, we wanna be able to add product managers and product teams without changing our overall organizational structure. So if you think about the structure that we've got here, you've got a product area one, you've got a team for that, product area two, there's a team for that. If you're expanding your business, you've got a product area three, you just add a team with the same structure. This is a good thing. All right, then the sixth rule of the road, and this is a hard one, is designed for durability. So we want teams that are stable over time because innovation comes from teams that know each other well and trust each other. Okay, so revolving teams are just gonna struggle with commitment, motivation, ownership. So the team structure that we've got here works pretty well, except if you're doing frequent reorganizations and people are moving back and forth between different teams. It just doesn't work that well. All right, six rules of the road. I will say that each company is different 
and that your product team will reflect this. Uh, however, there's just product structures that are successful in uh, many company types. And conversely, there are product team structures that just fail almost everywhere. And to the extent that you can, what I'm going to suggest is that you follow the rules of the road. All right, I'm Todd Berzer. If you've got questions on this, you can reach out to me. I've got my contact information here. Also, I talk about this more in a Udemy course that I've got, VPs and Directors of Product Management, Finding Excellence, and the link to that course is below. All right, structuring a product team.